Friday night at midnight. Okay, now the moment that you've been watching the show for. We have Stone Temple Pilots in the house to join us for the rest of the program. Scott, of course, Robert, Dean, Eric, thank you for coming by. Yeah. These two DeLeos are, are veterans of the rock show. Yes, That's we are. Eric, we don't know where you were last time, a couple of months ago. I was in Hawaii. You were in Hawaii. Surfing. And we oh, have an right. idea, we have an idea of where you were. Scott yeah. and Eric yeah. were both vacationing. I was yeah. vacationing. Just kind of bipolar vacation. You didn't go to the typical vacation uh, destination, no, however. I was vacationing at the... At the uh, uh, Los Angeles County Jail Biscalo Recovery Center. <laughs> yeah, and everything is fine now. Oh, I'm it's sick of that. Yeah, that is great. So you. I do. Baba Booey from Howard's show. Didn't yeah. want to wait to see the whole show. <laughs> Storytellers, STP is here. Was something you were going to add about the end of that? Uh... When I was watching a, a, a rough cut of the performance, <clears throat> we sort of took uh, the concept of the um, storytellers thing to a whole nother level. It's typically been sort of a fairly conservative kind of almost acoustic kind right. of you know <laughs> thing. Uh, and uh, which we started the show out in that format, and then as 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 it progressed, we just really sort of uh, tore into things and uh, blew the blew the place up, and it sort of culminated with a uh, a live S and M uh, sex show going on in the background. So you're really not sure whether you're watching like a a, a video or a, a performance by um, a live rock band. I don't wow. think that really would have been effective having that whole scene in the background if we were doing it acoustically. Not at all. You know no. what I mean? It wouldn't, it wouldn't have came together. No, yeah, it fits perfectly for sex type thing. Yeah. Got Kiss coming up next. Do you guys recall a show in 93 here in New York City, Roseland, where you went on stage dressed as oh, Kiss, yeah. or at least yeah. in makeup? Yeah. 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 Well, that was out of sheer boredom, man. We had been on the road for about probably nine months under our belt at that time, and I, I actually said, you guys, for some self-entertainment, I'm going out as Ace Freely tonight. And Robert goes, yeah. this is all glass. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it was funny because we didn't, we didn't have time to get the whole outfit together. Yeah. So we were kind of half-assed about it. We had the wigs and the, and the makeup, but we just put on these one-piece black unitards. And at the time, I was, I was really into wingtip shoes, so I had this, you know, Gene Simmons from here up, and then one-piece unitard with wingtips. <laughs> oh, and really, really good luck, man. Don't get any better. Rock and roll all night. This is Kiss. Coming up, we got another never-before-seen piece of SDP storytellers, and they'll do some storytelling of a different kind next on The Rock Show. That's cool. We're back with Stone Temple Pilots. Next video we're going to get into is the new one from uh, Rollins Band, Illumination. Uh, Dean and Robert have kind of a good story about the Rollins Band of Black Flag back in the day. You, you met at a Rollins show? At well, the Black Flag show? We, 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 Robert and I, uh, used to, Robert used to live in, in, in Long Beach, and, uh, and there's a place called Fender's Ballroom there where a lot of punk bands um, used to play. It was like right around the corner from his house, and uh, we bumped into each other there a few times. Um, but the funny Rollins story is actually Dean, yeah, this been Dean was involved in. Oh, um, man. We weren't going to do this. He doesn't want to do this. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell the story. I'll all right, tell the story. All right, all right, all right. All right you check this out. He's so, not going to kick anybody's ass. I believe we're an unsigned band at the time, right? We're an unsigned band we're, playing we're, the whiskey. We're an unsigned band, and we're, we um, you know, just started getting some good slots opening up for, you know, um, like headliners, mm -hmm. you know, club headliners. Mm -hmm. We of course, up for, you know, with all respect, Black Flag and Rollins, we we revered them with with an immense amount sure. of respect. And I'll preface that with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. so, so we're at the we're at the whiskey, and uh, you know, we we just sort of like get done playing our show, and we're and we're taking off our sweaty clothes. Dean's in the hallway uh, talking to some friends, and and Hank's walking by through the hallway, Hank. Just all pump, pumped up, ready to get on stage. And uh, he was and actually down. Remember, there were stairs down there. Yeah, he get was ready, down there get alone, ready to going. Pumped. <laughs> 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 like, uh, really, so Dean really getting it together. Says, yeah. Hey, uh, hey Henry, Henry, be careful out there. Hank turns around and says, and what I meant Why does someone have a gun? <laughs> oh, okay. And what I meant for right here, I just meant like, man, don't kill anybody yourself. Because right. he was like just on eleven. Yeah. And when I said that, he came this close to me. Our noses were this close. Boy. And my friends. I'll backstep. Yeah, because I didn't want to get hit with a flying. It was a kind of it was a kind of moment where everyone was like, yeah. And as soon as he did that, it was like, and just Henry, quiet. Yeah. No, normally I back quiet. up my boy D. Yeah, yeah but you're the hell out of there. Yeah. I, like, I respect no him, but he scares me. Always seems like he's in huh. kill rock star mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a lot of nice things to say about the state of music these days. Yeah. Well, neither do we most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah your, your music wasn't included. This is the new one from Rollins Band, Get Some Go Against the New Record. This is Illumination. With well, STP and show you a piece of their exclusive Storyteller's performance next. 
All right, we're back. We're still with Stone Temple Pilots, and we haven't, uh... No, you go. Come on. I, I helped Keith with that one. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't talked about the new album yet, number four. And on the Before. website, you've uh, posted a few things that I've read about, uh, like a Sour Girl <laughs> being the song that you think is finally going to be the one to kick this o uh, over the top, so yeah. to speak. Well, we sort of had it's a great album, by the way. You, you got to get this if you don't have it. We sort of, uh, you know, had had that feeling about Sour Girl when we when we wrote it. That was like the well, first day we got into the um, you know the process of like pre-production, writing the songs for the record. The, in the first day, we we um, we wrote uh, and arranged Down and Sour Girl. And uh, we kind of knew that that was like one of those sort of special songs. Kind and of an obvious one, yeah. Yeah, and um, and just for the response we got from our friends and stuff, it was just like you know we had a feeling, good feeling about the song. So we basically um, decided to hold on to that, you know, until I, uh, you know, was released from jail and the whole band could start firing right. on all cylinders again, you know. <laughs> uh, so storytellers, we'll talk about that. We're going to show down. It's on TV, I should mention, April 28th, 10 p.m., right here on VH1. Uh, this was fun. Let's talk a little, little bit more about storytellers and uh, the experience. Did you make up any of the stories that you had to tell? I mean, could you remember every damn reason behind every song? Um, you know what? We kind of talked about it um, when we, we rehearsed for about a week uh, prior to doing the show and, um, you know, just pretty much tried every song that we thought might work well. And, uh, and we sort of talked about what we might say between songs. and. Um, just like sort of like refreshed each other's memories as far as like the little <clears throat> things that happened during the the writing and recording of the songs. Um, <clears throat> Robert tends to Robert and Dean tend to remember more about the writing and recording of the songs than I do because I, I at times I was sort of <laughs> you know somewhere else, higher. You know, it's, yeah. it's funny because <clears throat> when we get together and do rehearsals and stuff, it's always the kind of thing where we always reminisce about this time and it's it's always the, you know the kind of thing where it's like hey dude remember back in 93 when you right. like made it with a cow you know it's that kind of you know it's that kind of thing you know it just like brings dude, you I back yeah yeah well so. this is good this is an exclusive piece of storytellers that you can't see on the show itself this is down
right, unfortunately, we got to wrap this son of a bitch up. But uh, before we do, we haven't talked about touring. You, you two are going to go do some interesting sort of radio acoustic thing, right? Yeah, I, I told Robert and Eric they may start looking for replacements because we're going to be on 11 planes over the next two weeks. Oh, man. Or at least you know what happened to the Goo Goo Dolls on their plane. I don't. They, yeah, they almost crashed and died. Really? Oh, yeah. wow. Well, hey, that's, that's like good. two thanks, months ago. Thanks for that tad of info. <laughs> You're <That's> welcome. <laughs> yeah, I know. Man. If he hasn't gone yet, I'm sure he's not going to. You know, yeah, at least a long time. taken me out so far. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a plane. Cool. Guys, thank you for coming by. It's been awesome. Thanks. Yeah, Great nice. show. We'll see you. Welcome yeah. anytime. Yeah, Door is right. always open. Right on. Thanks. We'll see you again. Stone Temple Pilots, I'm on the radio in New York, 92.3 K-Rock. We'll see you next time. Com.